Good morning from North Carolina. Today we're going to talk about how we shower while living in a school bus. I'm Raya. And I'm Louie. And we spent the first three years of our relationship traveling the world full time. And now we have embarked on our greatest adventure yet. We moved into a converted school bus and are planning to do one last epic tour of the US before we drive all the way down to our land in an eco community in Costa Rica. Subscribe to follow our adventure. We get asked all the time how we shower while living in a school bus and to be honest, our shower is probably my favorite thing about our bus and one of the main reasons why I knew I could live in a bus. We actually have three different ways that we've showered since moving in here and we'll show you all those ways starting with the most fun way. So the first step of showering the bus is filling up the water tank which I recently upgraded from like 60 gallons or 50 gallons to 125 so this is our huge water tank I've disconnected the the hose here and uh, our friend has just run to turn it on so it's gonna fill up it'll probably take like 20 minutes but that normally lasts us over a week, maybe like two weeks, if we're conservative with our showers. Oh, there we go. Right, we are filling up. So the first way, although we have an internal shower in the bus, is actually showering outside of the bus. So obviously we can't do that everywhere, but we kind of accidentally discovered this the other day because we were fixing some of the tiles and we had to wait for that to dry, which took 24 hours, but it was like super hot and we were sticky. We still wanted a shower. And then Raya was like, oh, maybe we could just pop the shower out of the window and shower outside. If we were in a really private location, maybe we could do this naked, but um, no, there's people around, so I'm gonna I'll do it in my swimming filming. trunks. Yeah, and then we're filming. <laughs> Okay. So the only problem with this so far is someone has to be inside to turn the water on and off. So we're going to need to hopefully figure that out later. I've seen shower heads where you can actually can control the water flow from the shower head fully. So I think that's what we'll do. And we'll maybe mount a little thing out here. All right, ready? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Okay. The other key thing is if, we, if you're showering outside or letting any water with soap in run out into nature you need to make sure you're using biodegradable soaps so that's a good tip here you go the other amazing thing is i can fully stand up i'm almost six foot five i can fully stand up out here whereas we'll show you later i can't fully stand up in the shower in the bus or actually anywhere in the bus but this is nice on our trip down to Costa Rica. If you don't know, that's gonna be our final destination. We're gonna be driving down through Central America, probably a lot of beach towns, jumping in the sea, and we don't wanna be treading sand back through into the bus. So I think having an external shower set up is gonna be perfect for that situation where we can just rinse all the sand off coming out the sea. And uh, yeah, I guess any other time that we get super dirty doing things, uh, this is gonna be the best option for showering. Quick break to tell you about today's sponsor and very fittingly, today's video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. They offer 100% customizable hair, body and skin care. All you have to do is take a quick hair quiz to select your hair goals that fit your needs. The ones I selected are lengthen, volumize, curl definition, shine and oil control. And for the past few weeks I've been using my custom shampoo and conditioner. You even get to customize the color and they sent these really cute stickers too that you can put on your bottle and obviously you get to choose your scent and I chose the brand new It Takes Two to Mango scent. I can't even tell you how good this smells. Oh my gosh, it's so tropical. Like it, it literally smells like summer and it's so sweet and it just takes me back to laying on the beach in Hawaii or Jamaica and just eating like a juicy mango dripping off my fingers. I miss travel. Anyway, this is one of the first things that I noticed. Usually when I wash my hair, like, it smells good, but within an hour or two it's kind of gone. This, after I wash my hair, the shampoo and conditioner, 24 hours later, it smells as strong as it did when I first come out of the shower. I honestly have loved how my hair has felt and looked in the last few weeks since I switched over to Function of Beauty. Click the link in the description to get 20% off and let me know what you think. So next up, definitely the main way that we shower. This is one of my favorite things about this bus. Are you ready to see our shower? So 
So when Louie's not showering outside, he usually has to be sitting down the whole time because he's way too tall, but I fit in here perfectly. So let's turn it on. I've never showered with the door open before. This will be interesting. Oh my gosh, cannot tell you how good that feels. Also, pull this off and shower as you do. Also, I use this seat to shave my legs. This is the perfect place to shave my legs and get both sunlight from outside to make sure I get a perfect shave. <laughs> this rail is a new addition and it is so helpful because before this everything would fall as we were driving so I'm very grateful for this. And this is where we hang our scrubbers and just any other shower accessories. And this is where all the water drains down to our grey water tank. So under the shower area there's, let's show you, so this is the drain coming out of the base of the shower. It goes along here and this is actually from the, uh, the kitchen sink as well, this one here. And then it goes into this big grey water tank which is I think between 40 to 50 gallons. A lot of the RV parks we've been to they have actually like a way of pumping that into their main kind of sewer system. Oh I need to show you the water heater as well. It's pretty cool. This is a propane powered water heater. So the water comes in here from the fresh water tank. This goes to the propane canister out the back. And then this is where you set the temperature. So you set the water temperature. It also is plugged into the uh, 110 power. So we need the, the main power system on as well. And then when Raya turns the water on, do you want to demonstrate? As Raya turns the hot tap, it basically pumps through here and heats up immediately. So this is the temperature that the rye is getting inside. And this is the exhaust pipe for the propane that's heating the water. And I'll show you where it leads to on the roof. So if you haven't seen the videos of me building this roof deck, this is the uh, exhaust pipe. It's a little chimney coming out the top here. I like cut around the, the wood. And that's to stop it getting rain pouring down it. So the final third way we discovered to shower in the bus was actually last night and we had run out of water but there was a thunderstorm so it was chucking it down with rain and Raya was like why don't you just run out in the rain and shower in the rain so that is what I did and it was actually amazing. Is it rolling? Yeah. We are in the middle of a thunderstorm right now and Raya had the clever suggestion to save water by showering outside in the rain. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> hey, this is nice! I don't know if it's heavy enough to rinse it off me. Yeah, of course it is, look at it. <laughs> so those are all the ways that we shower on our bus, but we're actually parked with our friends Justin and Juby and their bus has a really, really unique different shower setup. I've never seen anything like it before. So I thought maybe I could quickly show you theirs before we finish the video. What do you think of this one? Amazing. This skylight is so good and the shower head and I've just never seen one like this that you like walk through. You just close it off. And it becomes a shower. And this side. Yeah. yeah, this is huge. And then apparently the drainage is like under these wooden slats, so it kind of just drains right through to the grey water tank. So creative, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe this is what we do. Instead of raising our whole roof, we just add a few Have bits a like dome. this so you can stand. I like it. Yeah. I love how creative they got with the shower in their bus. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing how we shower while living in a bus. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe and check out our channel. And see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.